What is going on, Draw2 Crew? Ramney here with a brand new Fortnite tutorial for you guys. And today, we are going to do the epic looking Ragnarok skin from Season 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale. It's going to be a challenging one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video in half. And uh, first video, this video, we're going to do the, the head, torso, and a little bit of the, uh, I don't know what you call this part right here, but that part. And then... Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you the arms and the legs. So let's go ahead, you guys. First, I downloaded and printed out my um, my standing male pose, which you can get at the top right of the uh, screen here. You can you can download this from my website, print it out, and you'll have it right here. And you can also, um, if you guys want to do the draw the tutorial instead, you could do that as well. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video where you can get this action pose to get ourselves started okay so let's go ahead and get right to it i'm going to zoom in and the first thing we're going to do is the demon skull mask thing that he's got so let's go ahead and do that first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find the bottom and the top of the demon skull and the bottom of the skull is going to be right here i'm going to draw a line and the top is going to be right around here, kind of just a bit above the head. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a circle like this, just around the head, but kind of skipping out on the chin. The chin kind of sticks out of that circle, okay? So I drew a circle, but the chin of it kind of sticks out. And from that, from the chins, I'm going to kind of draw this line right here. And that's it. That's, well, that's not it. That's, that's the shape that we want. Okay. So it's a little bit tricky, but I'll show you guys how to do it. So don't you guys worry. Okay. So let's draw a line going across just kind of around the center of that skull. And I'm drawing this like a curve, just like that, because what we're going to do is we're going to draw, it doesn't have to be that long, by the way, we're going to draw the horns coming out this way and this way. So let's do that now. So here kind of looks like the, uh, like a, a bull or a, a, a buffalo with the horns here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval at the top. Think of it as like him balancing a tomato on his head. Don't worry, it'll all make sense, trust me. Find a spot here and here on that tomato and then find the spot here and here. So leave a little gap here and here. And what we're going to do is draw a horn. It goes up and then like this. So it's kind of straight, straight little curve and then down. Whereas this one is kind of s jagged actually. So make it go zigzag. Okay, same thing over here. You wanna make sure that they're symmetrical Try to get the same shape going. There you go. And then the inside is gonna be jagged, zigzag it, going all the way to the head. Okay, the center, let's draw a center line. That's the center. There's a bit of a tip over here. So I'm gonna make a little spike on the top of our, of our head. There you go. Now, let's work on the eyes. The eyes are gonna be well, let's do the nose first. That way we'll figure out how far we want the eyes to be. Okay, so the nose is gonna be right here, just below that, where the two lines cross. Okay, upside down triangle, and then another upside down triangle below it, but it's going to look like this, so like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to join the edges like that. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see. I'm gonna shade that in. Okay, so now let's draw the eyes. Eyes are gonna be right here and they're gonna look pretty epic. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line across this way above the nose. I'm gonna draw the eye sockets right here. So I'm gonna draw them as ovals first. Try to get the location right. I want to bring it not too far from the nose. I made mine a little too far. So adjust. 
Okay, and then at the tip of it, you want to draw a line from here all the way to this gap. And same thing here, all the way to that gap. Now, let's give this an angry look. So let's flatten out the top. By doing that, you're going to make him look angry. And then just make an eye shape for the bottom. Almost looks like a leaf. There's a tip right here closest to the nose. There you go. Okay, let's draw the horns. Let me erase this part and this part. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a spot here and here. And this goes, rounds off to the top like that. And this, again, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a line from here going into the top of the head and here into the top of the head as well. So we've got that going. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line, this here at the end of it, just across the horn like this. And then it goes up and this goes, actually leave it like that. This goes up like this. There you go. All right, not bad, you guys. So let's keep going. Over here now, just beneath the eye, kind of where the, the horn meets the, meets the cheek, I'm going to draw this shape right here. Same thing over here. It's gonna look like that. Okay, there you go. And then find a spot over here and over here. Kind of measure out or yeah, measure out from here just up to there. So here to there. And what you want to do is you want to draw the second set of horns. They're good. They should be smaller than the top horns. And then just keep working at it until you get a symmetrical shape. There you go. Just erasing the inside with my trusty wiper thingy. <laughs> okay, now here this goes this way and this way. And then a slight tiny little curve. Awesome, there you go. And then the back. There's that, and there's this. You see that in the back, and it's kind of, it's got ridges. So I'm gonna draw it one, two, three, four lines this way. One, two, three, four lines this way. So that's cool. This has a couple of lines that go like this. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna find a spot here, and I'm just going to draw a line from there all the way to the tip. Okay, here all the way to the tip. And this is going to be, it should be underneath your eyes. And I'm going to bring this line, curve it this way. So now it's starting to look like a, a human skull. And then I'm going to bring it like that. Okay, that's cool. So now let's start working on the teeth around the skull. I'm going to draw the actual place where the skull sort of ends and the teeth begin. So it's right there. And I'm gonna bring it like that and like that. Let's start with the big fangs. I'm gonna grab a sharper pencil for this. Okay, so start here at the top. You see where we have this circle here. You kinda of wanna run along there. Now he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> okay. Fang number one. Let me make that easier for you guys to see. 
There you go. And then the other side, this corner, fang number two. Let me erase the inside so you guys can see better. There you go. Now, over here, I'm going to draw one, two. I'm going to erase the bottom now. We don't need that. Okay, so there's two teeth in between. And then I'm just going to draw the these lines like this. There you go. Okay, on each side of the, the big teeth, there's going to be two teeth and then one over here. So let's draw this one first. This one should be easy. Little upside down teardrop there. Little upside down teardrop over here. Okay, now two teeth, one, two. Leave a bit of a gap between this back tooth and then these two, if you can. Okay, and then same thing over here. Just the one tooth behind the other, one, two. Make that a little clear. There. So now let's readjust you guys. What I want to do is I want to bring this in a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to draw a line from here going up, actually all the way to the nose. Okay, from here, I want to bring this kind of to the top over here and here. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, let's give this one another line all the way to where the where it meets this line here. Okay, same thing over here. It goes like that. Give it an angry look. And there you go. So that is our Ragnarok skull. Pretty crazy. It's a little difficult. So if you guys are having a hard time, don't worry about it, because it's it is a, a a tough skull to draw. So if you guys did it, then congratulations. It's a uh, yeah, you're doing a pretty good job. Okay, so there you go. That is it. So now let's draw the braided beard that is underneath, and it kind of goes to the center of our chest, okay? Round it and kind of goes like this underneath this uh, horn. And then the other side will go this way underneath this horn as well. There. Okay, now we kind of have to draw these armor things. Actually, you know, let's draw the beard first. I apologize. Okay, so let's start off with, okay, so imagine drawing paint brushes. Okay, here's the tip of the paint brush right there. Okay, and then you draw, you draw the bristles of the paint brush and it looks like that. Okay, and then here it's tied together and then goes back up like this. Okay, smaller paint brush right here and a smaller paintbrush over here. Draw the bristles. Here's where it's tied together. And then the rest goes up. Okay. And I mean, it's just a series of those. So let's draw a couple more paintbrush here. Tied here goes up over here and I say paintbrushes because that's what they look like but you know it's 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 braided beard braided blue beard okay one more there hard to make out where it's supposed to go but it's underneath there okay and then let's do I'm gonna do one more over here and then goes up of course it's braided but I'm it's gonna be really hard to draw the braids it's a lot of detail. Okay, 
So you have one, two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six braids, and then the rest is just going to be beard. So what I'm going to dr draw is just layers of hair. I'm going to make them pointy. And they just look like this. So at the end, you should have these like layers of hair and braided hair. Kind of just overlapping each other like this and like I, I will admit that this is kind of a difficult thing to teach you guys how to draw so i apologize if it's confusing but uh just try it just try it that's all it takes all right so now we have the head i think we got it good let's zoom out and let's do the torso and let's do the shoulder uh let's shape out the shoulder pads as well because that's kind of important too Okay, so the shoulder pads go pretty high. I'm gonna start with this one here. I'm gonna start right here. And then bring it to just below the shoulder. Can you guys see the shoulder there? So there's the shoulder. And then I'm just going to draw a line and then change its direction slightly like this. Okay, this goes up. It kind of touches this horn so if you guys have that horn in the in the right spot, then that's how it goes. And then I'm just going to straight down, okay? I'll leave that for part two, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This one, I'm gonna leave that for part two as well. I'm not even gonna bother drawing it right now. Um, he does have a, what do you call it? A bandolier that goes from here, the shoulder pad, all the way to his waist on the opposite side. So round it it's rounded can you guys tell it's not just a straight line but i rounded it there you go and then there's another strap beneath that strap it goes this way okay you see a bit of it over there and then it sort of becomes tinier as you go down there you go now let's draw the armor the armor is going to look like this Okay, so just straight, kind of straight down over here. Let me just make this a little bit wider. Like this. I'm gonna draw a circle now. I'm gonna draw a circle right where the waist is. Here's the waist. I'm going to draw this circle. Not quite a circle, more like an oval. Uh, forgot to mention so here's the belt line right there you want this oval to kind of just touch the bottom of the belt so it's more at the top less at the bottom do you know what I mean so it's more here like it sticks out at the top more than it does here at the bottom okay so there you go so let's shape this out let's get that armor going so the armor itself is going to be a little bit a little bit below the chest. So I'm going to start by drawing the armpit hole for the armor and it goes down like this to the back. Okay. And then another one here all the way to the under the armpit. All right. Let's draw from here, the side of the circle, side of the circle, you kind of want to draw this U shape that, that kind of goes to the bottom of the chest. So here's my chest line. You want this U shape to kind of happen here, just like that. But of course it's covered on this side, so I'm not going to draw those lines. And I'm going to double up on that line with another line above it. There you go. All right, so now, ah, I'm finding it a little bit tricky to, uh, to, to try to figure out which step should be next because they're all layered and each, each, uh, each layer is kind of important and you kind of need it to teach the other. Okay, so let's start over here. I'm gonna draw two lines. This is gonna be the chest line and the chest line is also gonna be on this side. So you notice that the chest is lower than the actual chest line 
So here's the chest piece there. Okay, beneath that, I'm going to draw another line here and then another line here. Okay, I'm going to draw a line going down the center here because what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines across. This goes up. Both of them do. And then they meet these two lines like that. And then same thing, you presume the same thing happens on the other side. Okay, over here, we're going to draw this like a, a layer. So it's going to look like this instead. Does that make sense? So it looks like that and it goes in. And then just above that U or the, the oval line like this, a little bit wider than the first one, goes up and then meets that. And then the same thing with this one, kind of just goes into the circle there. So there's our chest. Just gonna fix it up a bit. There you go. Okay, so there's the armor itself. There's one more line over here. There you go. And then bring this down and then into the belt like this. It's actually, I mean, it's armor, so it doesn't go into the belt. So it kind of goes above, above the belt there. Okay, so let's draw this strap right here. First thing I'm going to draw is a circle here or a half circle and then kind of a circle around it. So imagine like a ring going around this strap. I'm going to draw it again. This time I'm going to draw a circle with another circle inside. There you go. I'm going to draw now a strap inside the, this, the bigger strap. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to draw two lines inside. Okay. Line extends this way, goes over this ring, and then kind of over this ring, over this side, all the way to the end. Okay. Circle there, two circles over here. And over here, if you can, there's two circles here as well. That's one strap. Now the other strap, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a, a ring around like that. Okay. This time though, belt holes that way. That's good. I'm going to draw a line right here just underneath the beard. And that's good for that strap right there. There's a little gap over here. Let's draw that Might as well. There you go. And then there's runic. I'm going to draw diamond shapes here or just these diagonal lines that go like this. And then cross hatching opposite way like that. So zooming out, you guys, that's what that looks like. And I mean, it's, it's, it's taken us a while, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Just be patient, you guys, and just like focus on each part at a time. Make sure you guys have sharp pencils around you that you can use. And yeah, let's keep going, you guys, because um, it is going to be epic. Okay, so we've got this right here now. Let's uh, shape that into the look that we want. I'm going to draw a line going down the center of it. And then I'm going to make it 3D by showing this side. So you guys see by drawing this line right here, it makes it pop out. Okay, here's the center. I'm going to draw a V like this. And then a diamond shape over here. Gonna 
erase the top. So you should get this like W shape here at the top. And again, I'm going to show just the sides here so that you can see it's kind of 3D, but just here and here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to draw like a, an oval going all the way to the other side. More like a circle now actually and then here now we do the same thing going all the way to the other side there you go there's rings coming out here so just draw another ring here and another one over here so i just drew it's like a C shape, essentially. That's what those look like. Okay. Now we're going to draw a thing that kind of looks like an arrow. I don't know what the symbol represents, you guys. If you do know, let me know. Two lines going up. And then they kind of spread. In, in, down, down. And then I'm just going to draw a diamond right here. And then just a line from the tip here, just going into this point. Not quite accurate, but we'll just leave it like that for simplicity's sake. So that's it. Okay. Good. Now let's zoom out. And now I'm going to show you guys the skirt piece. The skirt is going to go uh, a bit above the, the, the knees. So I'm just going to draw the where it's going to go above the knee here, all the way around. And then it goes loops and goes behind the knee like that. Okay. This one, starts here and then and also over here and I'm going to draw a line going all the way down this one's going to kind of go this way towards the kneecap and then this one goes this way to the point where the leg kind of or outside of the leg here draw that line I'm going to draw a triangle over here Give it a 3D look by drawing another line there. Okay, another triangle over here. There you go, that's good. Okay, now this one goes along the side of the, well, the top of the leg, I guess you could say. It just goes just above the kneecap there. It goes, it goes up and then from the tip here, all the way like that. Okay, in the last part, same part here, center of the thigh. Okay, it goes around and from here, just goes under the hand like that. We're gonna add some detail to that shortly, but before that, let's get to the belt. Let's add a little bit of detail to the belt. Okay, so there's part of the belt, but the thing is, the belt is going to be layered. So there's a black layer underneath, and then there's another layer beneath it, kind of slanted. And so I'm just going to draw that, like that. So there's a bit of a gap here. You'd shade that in. Okay, I'm going to draw two lines going across it. Okay, and then now there's another strap going from the belt buckle, I guess you could say, going all the way to the side beneath the belt. Okay, so let me erase this part so you guys can see. Draw a circle here.
two small circles. Strap goes into the ring. And then strap goes out of the ring to the other side. Just like that. Okay, so now let's zoom out and let's add some details to the skirt. We'll end it there. And then in the next video, I'll show you guys how to draw the, um, the appendages. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna draw the stitching right here and I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna draw these X's and lines. Right there. Just a bunch of X's and lines down at the bottom. Okay, over here, it looks like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna draw a line like this first. And then this right here, gonna draw down this way and this way, and then down the center. And then here it sort of makes this shape. Does that make sense? And so it kind of looks like a letter P, but the bottom of the P has this little triangle sticking up. Okay, so here I'm going to draw these uneven lines. one on top of each other. And I'm gonna make them crooked and jagged. Okay, so can you guys see how I'm sort of working my way down by just drawing these uneven looking lines? You guys can Take a look at the reference photo, of course, and see what I mean. So that's what those look like. And then circles over here at the tip of some of them, but not all. That's what that looks like. I'm going to give them a 3D look. Okay, and then there's like patches over here as well. Just random patches of black and light brown there you go we're gonna draw the side of this so there's the side and then the same thing like this right here I'm just going to have it kind of stick out just up to there and then you just see the edge of it kind of looks like that one after the other one under the other. And I'm going to just end it right here. I don't have to go all the way down. Maybe I'll draw another one there. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's draw that edge first. There you go. And then we'll draw the edge at the bottom as well. goes from here kind of goes for for our pose it goes under the hand and then just give it this 3d edge and then just make it go across to the other side and there you go again right here we got some stitching and some patches. Okay, and then it goes all the way to the other side of the leg there. And then fix that up. <laughs> that was tough, you guys. If you, I mean, if you followed along all the way, then I commend you, I give you a lot of props because this is a very difficult, very difficult uh, um, costume skin to draw. So there you go, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. This is part one of our Ragnarok full max armor tutorial. Let's uh, go ahead to part two. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I'm losing my voice. So let's go ahead to part two, you guys. I will catch you in the next video. You guys, this is probably one of my most ambitious tutorials that I've ever done on this channel, if not the most ambitious. So if you guys made it this far, that is awesome. I give you a lot of props. So click on the video on the top right 
to continue on to part two of this Ragnarok tutorial. And yeah, let's keep going, you guys. You're awesome. I'll see you soon.